Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I just wanted to give you some updates, um, some information that's come out today. No, as far as we know, um, as far as been confirmed by police, nothing has been stated about Quinton being found. So there is no confirmation on that. But um, you have that uh, Chatham County Quinton's mother made an appearance in court Monday, but not about Quinton's disappearance. Instead, the court hearing was about concerns for the safety of her other two children. It's been almost two weeks since 20-month-old Quinton disappeared from his Chatham home or Chatham County home. Since then, police have said that they believe Quinton to be dead, though they haven't recovered his body. Police say Quinton's mother, Leilani, is the only suspect in Quinton's disappearance and presumed death. Monday, she was in Chatham County Juvenile Court for a preliminary hearing about the custody of Quinton's two siblings. It was the first public appearance of Leilani since Quinton went missing. She arrived wearing a mask and a dress and was sitting just feet away from her mother, Billy Howell, though their lawyers were sitting between them. Billy had custody of Quinton before his disappearance. I don't know about this part and still has custody of Leilani's oldest child, who is around three years old. I don't know that that part is exactly true because we have looked at the court documents that um, says that they were taken away um, and they are in like a uh, CPS or DCF or whatever you call it, but right, DCF is, I mean, CPS is what um, we call it here. But um, Leilani and Billy both left the courthouse as quickly as they could after the hearing. And there was a large law enforcement presence inside and outside of the courthouse. Leilani, and then this says Leilani made her first public appearance since Quinton went missing today. She was at Chatham County Juvenile Court for a hearing regarding the custody of her other two children. Leilani is the only suspect in Quinton's presumed death. Details tonight, which um, these are the details. So. Uh, the fathers of Leilani's other children were at the hearing over video chat, as well as other family members. The grandfather of one of Leilani's other children drove four hours to be at Monday's hearing, uh, custody hearing. He said it was important to be there to support his grandchild. He also said the safety of his grandchild moving forward is at the top of his mind, as his grandchild's mother is the only suspect in the death of one of her other children. Judge Thomas Cole presided over the hearings. When court was called to session, WTOC asked to have a camera in the courtroom, but Judge Cole denied the request and also sealed the hearing from the public. Cole says he made that decision to protect the privacy and safety of the children involved, though he does understand the public interest in the case. After he made that decision, WTOC had to leave the courtroom. The people that stayed in the courtroom are also under a gag order and not allowed to discuss what happened. Again, Monday's hearing was over the custody of Leilani's other two children, who are around six months and three years old. We do know that legally, these hearings have to take place within three days of a child being removed from a home under emergency order or DFCS requesting to remove a child. So, that's what I was referring to, right? So they say they know that, but I guess they don't know about the paperwork from the court about that having happened. Maybe, maybe they don't know about that. Um, WTOC has asked for any records pertaining to Monday's court hearing, but weren't given them because the hearing was sealed. Just to be clear, this was not a criminal hearing and Leilani has not been charged with anything. WTOC did ask the Chat Chatham County Police Department for any updates in the search for Quentin Simon, and the department responded that they didn't have any new information to provide. So, as of when court was today, and I don't know exactly what time that took place, um, the police department is saying that they did not have anything to share. They had nothing that they wanted to release or put out there. Um, I've checked the updates, and I don't see any updates either that they've put out in regards to Quinton or the case on any of their social media. Um, and then here is a video that I will play for you as well. This is also talking about um, any updates with the case. 
Well, as the second week of a search continues, Chatham County Police and FBI continuing uh, to work for answers. And this is to the question so many are asking. What happened to little Quentin Simon? The 20-month-old boy uh, last is seen on October 5th at his Southwest Chatham County home. Well, we told you last week, investigators have evidence to that they say leads them to Quentin's, uh, to believe that is, that Quentin is dead. So we want to check in right now with our lead investigative reporter, Brett Buffington. He is live right now at the Chatham County Police Headquarters uh, with a perspective for us tonight on this case from one of the country's most sought after legal analysts. Brett. And Tita, this is day 12 of the search for Quentin. This little boy's name, this little boy's disappearance is a conversation that's happening across this country. This is the last update we got about the search for Quentin. It's from Friday afternoon. The large group of police investigators and federal agents worked over the weekend, but not out searching for the toddler's body. That search has so many people talking and so many asking questions. How could this baby get out of a pack and play, get out the door through the neighborhood and so far away he can't be found quentin simon today's topic of nancy grace's podcast the host and popular legal analyst told us after the story quentin's mom Lelani simon told police he's downright disturbing the biological mom cast blame on the bio dad who was not part of this child's life who lived a fair distance away and apparently has an alibi. Now that's according to reports. Maybe we've all got it wrong, but I tell you one thing, as my child disappeared on my watch, I would be going door to door myself. I would have to call the cops. We know police have collected evidence in the case, but Chief Jeff Hatley says what that is, isn't something he's ready to talk about. The evidence Nancy Grace says police should get. Everybody that was in and out of that house during the time surrounding this baby's disappearance, I would have them down at police HQ, get them to agree to a polygraph and start pinging their phones to find out every single place they've been. We do know from police that they have taken at least one phone in this case. And we know from police in other cases that when you ping a phone, you can tell exactly where that person in that phone have been and who they talked to. Police haven't told us what they found on the phone they've already got in evidence for this case. We're live at Chatham County Police Headquarters tonight. I'm Brett Buffington, WSAV News 3, on your side. Okay, and then I'm gonna take you to a little bit more of Nancy Grace, right? So it's a, a portion of her podcast or her show that she does, right? So it's a portion of it. And Brett Buffington, everybody joining me, WSAV News 3, News Nation affiliate. We've got uh, almost a four hour window that we can absolutely confirm where he could have gone between 6 a.m. when boyfriend left and 9.42 a.m. when the 911 call was made. Although we believe the family was up looking for him before they called 911, which I understand. I was screaming well, my head off and that baby's yeah, arrived before I would think that. of calling 911. I was hoping I would find him there. What? I wanted to bring up that the babysitter who lives literally three houses down just on the other side of the street on the corner she came over and asked, do you want help looking for this little boy before the cops were called? And they told her no. That's what she so said. So they wanted to find the baby on their own before police were called. So that sounds like at least a good hour. So then let's back it up 6 a.m. to 8.42 a.m. Because the babysitter had to hear about it and then come over there and have the conversation. Everybody looking for 20-month-old Quentin Simon. Uh, could you tell me something, Brett Buffington, who lives in the home? Oh, boy. So the house is owned by the grandparents, um, Thomas and Billy Joe Howell. In there, we also understand that uh, one of their sons stays there. Lelaney Simon, Quentin's mom, her boyfriend, and Lelaney has three kids. We know grandma has custody of two of those. So, yeah, it's full house. 
So, all right, you've got the grandmother and the grandfather. They own the home. You've got uh, Quentin's mother, Leilani. You've got her boyfriend, Daniel Yonkin, who got up and went to work. And you have other children. So a lot of people in the home and nobody knows what happened to Quentin. Um, Although I know this, they've got enough money to have a pool in the backyard. And I don't know if you guys caught that, but he he did go over who lives in that home. And it hasn't been stated by anybody since day one when Billy Joe herself stated who was in the home. And she said that the it was called she said uncle um, stays in the home. So that would be Quentin's uncle. Um, Leilani's brother also that would be Billy Joe's son stays in the home as well but since then nothing's been said of him so I'm curious what he knows or like what he remembers did he hear anything did anything wake him up do I think he has a hand in this probably not I probably don't think so right Um, but but it is interesting that nobody wants to just say all of the people that were in the home, they just keep saying that, um, you know, it was just her and the boyfriend and that was it. Um, Unless he was gone, maybe at a a girlfriend's home or staying at a friend's house or something that night. And so he wasn't actually in the home that night. Um, I don't know, kind of interesting. But um, so outside of that, uh, also the son um, has a whole write up, but we know all of it. Um, But I just want to touch on it says that um, Quentin's grandmother, Billy Joe, appeared to have shared a post over the weekend before deleting her Facebook profile. Quote, we are welcoming prayer and goodness in our yard that shows hope for Quentin. We love him and are completely devastated. The gifts for him give us hope in humanity. And um, the Facebook, her Facebook is still locked she still has it shut down but also i'll show you guys uh take you to it just to have you guys be able to see it let me bring you over this just happened this evening because it was up earlier when i checked it and then it was not anymore so this is tiktok billy joe has taken her tiktok down as well so both now her Facebook and her TikTok are gone. So um, I don't know if she was getting a lot of hateful messages and just decided she didn't want to see it anymore or, or what exactly. But yeah, so her Facebook and TikTok both down. And there isn't anything from uh, the babysitter. I have continue to check for you guys. Actually, I'm making things up. There is something um, that just got put up by the babysitter. We can go over to it really quickly. So let me take you to it right now because it actually wasn't there a moment ago. Um, so let me add you to it. This is uh, babysitter's TikTok. If there's music, I'll have to mute it. Probably looks like it could be music. <laughs> Um, that sounded like just a video, um, like a, a TV show. But, um, I don't know. (laughs) So, if anybody speaks Spanish and knows what that said, you could tell me if that was just a a TV playing in the background. 
Um, and it was nothing more than she just happened to catch the TV playing in the background. Or was that actually saying something that we should know? Was that some type of prayer of some sort that was happening? And um, if so, what did it say? Right? I could probably work to translate some of it, but um, I don't know. I, I I don't know, you guys. Uh, but that's that. That's the um, the latest video put out by the babysitter. Um, let me check where do I have that. Yeah, I I don't know. But anyway, everyone, um, I will keep you guys posted if um, anything else comes out. I'm going to check her uh, really quickly on Facebook and see if there's anything. I don't believe that there is, but while we're here, I'll just take a quick look for you while I have you. Yeah, no, there isn't. So that's the latest. Um, those are some of the updates that came out throughout the day. And if anything else happens to come out, I will let you guys know. Alrighty, I hope that you all have an awesome night or day, depending where you're at. Take care, everyone. I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye, everybody.